Hey guys, it's me again, and today I want to share a really quick math tower game that is challenging to solve but very fun to build. You'll need some plastic cups, some paper and tape, and something to write with. Okay, so check it out. Cut your paper into small squares and write numbers on them. You could do any number um, from 1 to 20, but the higher the number, the harder the challenge. I like to use numbers from 1 to 12 personally to keep it quick and simple, but it's totally up to you. Okay, the next thing that you need to do is tape those numbers onto the cups and stack them up in front of you so that you're ready to start. So here's how to play. You could do this on your own or you could play with someone else by taking turns, okay? So you'll start by getting the top cup and setting it face down in front of you. That's a four. Make sure that the number is facing you so that you can do the math quickly. Then you'll add the numbers of the two cups and if you get it right, then you could take the next cup, flip it and stack it on top of the first one like this. So four plus three is seven, so I'm gonna stack it like this because I got it right. Now if you don't get it right, it's okay. Your turn will be over and the other person gets to try it. And if you're playing by yourself, just set the cup aside for now so that you know what to work on in the future. You know, and which numbers you didn't get this time. Okay, so I'm gonna put the cup back because I got it right. And then let's see how high we can go. So four plus three is seven, right? And then seven plus seven is 14. So I'm gonna stack that cup. And then 14, which is the sum of all these cups that are stacked up, plus 10 is 24. So I'm stacking that one up. And then 24 plus six is 30. And then you keep going and going 32. So you'll keep going and going until you can't anymore or the tower falls. If you're playing by yourself, just count all the cups that you stacked up and those will be your points. And then the next time, just try to beat your own score. If you're playing with somebody else, the person that didn't knock down the tire wins automatically. And if you happen to have two different colors of cups, then you can actually have two stacks, um, one for each player. And then you could count how many of your cups are stacked versus how many of their cups are stacked. Uh, so there you have it. I hope you had fun. Remember that you can always make it way more challenging by having two digit numbers or even doing multiplication. I mean, which is my favorite. So do me a huge favor, try this out, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll try to send you more videos just like this one. Until next time, stay safe, stay active, and above all, stay inspired. I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna try this again, all right? Bye.